welcome to my gardening video. Today is the first video in what's gonna be a little series of how I do my garden. I already got some footage of me working on my garden beds because they were all kind of spread out last year and I didn't like it. It's really windy where I live, so because they were so spread out and raised, the wind really was hurting a lot of my plant. This year, I just wanted to change that. Um, so I did record some footage of me um, just moving everything around and then getting some seeds started, which um, is gonna be all that I do today. Um, I did get a little greenhouse online, which should get here tomorrow, just because I have so many plants, but I have such a small house that it doesn't really make sense to keep them inside. Um, and I did already start some plants, so um, in this video also, I'm just gonna have kind of the very first day of when I put seeds into their little seed pods, um, and then like one week update, and then today, it's actually two weeks from when I started my um, my first seeds and I'm also planting some more today. So I'm gonna take you through that and um, that's probably gonna be all of it for today. So the first thing I'm starting with are these beans. And I'm just gonna put them in these little starter pods and I just kind of stick them in there and then pinch it a little and, uh, and that's about it. I also just got these um, and I just got all these seeds at Walmart. Plant some sunflowers after this just because it'll look really nice. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass. Or zucchini. Among the flowers, we just let the days pass. So now that they're all done, I just put them here in my little windowsill. Um, I have that potty pad under here because my window leaks. Um, only when it rains a lot, so it's actually okay. So here, I'm actually trying to grow my own avocado from the avocado seed, and it's only been a day, so there's nothing happening there yet. Then here are my little seed starters. So they're gonna get lots of sun, hopefully get nice and warm in the daytime, even though it still gets pretty cold here um, at night, especially by the window, but I think they'll be just fine. And then here, actually, this isn't really part of the, the seedling video, but I cut some pieces of my snake plant last year and so I've had these things for about a year and I didn't really think anything was happening and then the other day I discovered this little thing so um my snake plant is actually having a baby right now uh, which I'm super excited about and um it's growing really well and I mean it's you know I just noticed it not even a week ago and it's pretty big um and I'm really scared and I don't want to transplant them. So right now I'm just trying to make sure that it has lots of sun, lots of water. I mean, not too much water, but you know, I just kind of soak it um, and then leave it to dry. And then once it's totally dry, I soak it again. Uh, this one hasn't developed anything yet, which is sort of a shame. And then I'm also propagating um, this spider plant here and then this, um, this plant. <laughs> When we were young. So I've been working on this all day, trying to get it emptied out. I want to put them together more nicely. And um, here's a lot of the dirt that came out of that. And what I'm going to do with the bed that I don't like anymore is I'm going to move it over here and actually put it right next to this one, just so they're kind of closer. I'm going to stack them, um, which I think is going to look pretty nice. And get a job. We didn't care what we were told, cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. from your parents sometimes we got a bit out of control when they found out we ran from home just to scare them we were free when we were 17 Uh, right now it's kind of cool. You can see all of the 
developmental stages of um, my garden. So I was just using pallets that I can get for free at work. I use the pallets to sort of stack up the, the beds and then we have a huge wood pile where I just kind of found these scrap pieces of wood that I'm using for the edges. So the first stage is just this here where you just have the pallets. Then number two is this. So you see here I've got the, the walls up um, and then I just put some of this black plastic stuff down that will let water through, um, but it won't let too much of the dirt through. So kale and chard are really great if you want to have greens throughout the winter. And then a big reason why um, I'm going to protect my my yard this year is because of this guy, because he just thinks that the world is his oyster. So he doesn't really have any restrictions on where he can go, because despite being a little, you know, larger in the in the belly pooch area, yeah, he, uh, he's definitely pretty sporty. And, um, and yeah, when he's not getting up to mischief with his little friend right here, um, he's just, you know, hanging out here doing cat things, um, like chasing mice. to sit on the grass and go damn I don't want to grow old it's time for a one-week update to see how the little plantlings are doing one of them there's definite stuff happening but in the other um, there's really anything much going on but as you can see nothing has happened here in this one here there's been quite a lot of action so I think these are all the the beans that I'm doing and honestly I forgot what I planted here but uh, maybe some sunflowers, I would imagine. Um, so these are doing pretty well, and this is just at one week um, that all of those are going. And um, here's my avocado seed, and nothing at all is happening with this. These have all done super well. Um, I think these are um, sunflowers, and then I think these are all beans. So I'm probably gonna move over these four and these two. Gardening gloves, but I'm not gonna use them for this because it sort of seems like overkill. So I really wanted to move these guys over because you can see here, um, there's a ton of roots, which is great. That's exactly what I want, obviously. Um, but I really wanna move them into bigger pots. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them we were free I'm just going to put my first one in here. I'm going to put that root to make sure it goes down and just very gently I'm going to kind of open the top a little and then just sort of cover that very very lightly because um, the roots are still so young I don't know how they're going to do um, getting down into the soil. This is just soil for my garden. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna um, do that with all the others. Life ran away from us. If I could go back, be 17 again, yeah, I would just to see all my friends. Okay, so like I just uh, told you guys, I went to the garden center and I got some seeds. So I got these um, Armenian cucumbers. So my favorite YouTuber, she really loves these, so I just decided to pick some up. And uh, my favorite thing to eat is spaghetti squash. So I also got some of these. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start by using my pellet refill um, that I used, um, just because I still have these. They're really convenient to have, and they're pretty cheap also. So I think especially if you're just starting out, they're a great thing to get just because it makes it so easy um, and it comes with those little with these little greenhouse things. I think they're pretty cool. Like I said I have a I have a greenhouse on the way. So you just sort of fill this tray with water and I didn't heat my water which was a mistake. I really should have. This would be going a lot quicker. While I wait for these here to kind of plump up, I actually have another dish that I'm gonna be working with today. No, I don't have enough pellets, um, but you know is better than none. What I might actually do is I'm just gonna take these and put them in here so I have one tray of, uh, of new starts. Okay, so that uh, concludes all of my gardening for today. 
and um, I hope you liked this video. If there's um, any questions you have or anything, you can always leave them down below. I'm definitely not an expert. Um, I just do it as a hobby. I just have a lot of space. I'm just trying to like use that and I love gardening. It's really sort of relaxing for me and I just um, feel like my job is pretty stressful and I'm a high stress person and I just have a lot of things to do. So when I can go gardening, it's actually sort of my time to not worry about kind of everything else that I usually worry about. So um, feel free to leave any comments below um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.